Every piece of music tells its own little internal story. So what I want to be able to do is have my little music story somehow match up with the game story or with the, the story that's being told by the visuals. It's a different kind of story than I think you usually encounter in video games. Usually it's a story of a hero who gets stronger and stronger and ultimately, ultimately defeats this much more powerful foe. The really hard thing about the story is there's so many different ways to tell a story. There's so many different good stories. Telling a story in a game is different than telling a story in a book because a huge part of the story of a game is just leaning flavor to the times when you're playing it so that when you're you're driving around a warthog with the marine hanging out the side door and the guy in the back with the chain gun that you believe that you're on this you know, alien artifact called Halo circling a gas giant light years away from Earth, and that, I, it's context, I guess that's the best way to say it. Don't expect a big welcome. Covenant wiped most of them out before they hit the ground. Well, our characters have, are, have flaws. They're not perfect heroes. And really, Halo's story is one about salvation. It's a story of warriors with not a lot of options who have their backs up against the wall and ultimately are trying to set themselves free. Yeah, I don't know if we're crazy or stupid or uh, we just like good stories or, or what, but we we certainly worry about that a lot more than you might think we'd have to in a game that's mostly just about action and, and about not thinking. This process began with the end of Halo and realizing all the stuff that we had left out. This is it, baby. Hold me. What did we really want to tell and didn't have time to, and distilling a couple of those core ideas? The entire fleet is engaged, Cortana, with respect. What the hell sort of reinforcement have you got? Jason locked himself in a room for a while and organized his core ideas and then came to me and said, Hey, you know, these are my these are my thoughts about a story for Halo 2. What do you think? And approached other people as well. It's not about making it complex, and it's not about playing movies for you know, two hours between every five minutes of gameplay, but the more you can allow somebody to believe instead of whatever, sitting in their, sitting in their living room at two in the morning trying to, you know, finish some stupid video game. There was this scene which will go down in the untold lore of Bungie, which Miranda strapped a bomb to the Master Chief's back and shoved him down a hole. And it was this horrible scene of betrayal and uh, Jason was going through a rather difficult breakup at the time. I think that might have had something to do with it. In Halo 1, there was maybe 30 seconds of fun that happened over and over and over and over again. So if you can get 30 seconds of fun, you can pretty much stretch that out to be an entire game. Encountering a bunch of guys, melee attacking one of them before they were aware, throwing a grenade into a group of other guys, and then cleaning up the stragglers before they could surround you. And so you can have all the great graphics and all the different characters and lots of different weapons with amazing effects, but if you don't nail that 30 seconds, you're not gonna have a great game. The really important thing to do now is to take, to take all these different disciplines who are all working on their own things uh, and take all those pieces, take the AI code and the physics and the guys working on the on the levels and then you keep doing that you keep colliding things together until uh, until it's a game animation is what brings our whole game to life nowadays what we are doing now for animation is so much more in depth is we're bringing so much more character to each one of the uh, entities in our game. You have to realize that the character is going to run around that environment, look at it all over the place, up and down. We always want to try to put a, you know a bit of ourselves in the character. It's at least what I'm trying to do with the with the brood as well. What do I do? I make guns. And so when you, you get another one of these, you can put that, that butt in, use it like a pistol, and you'll be able to have one in both hands, right? So you walk around with these, these two bullet hoses. 
I draw aliens for a living. <laughs> Storyline from what um, what we've read and you know what Joe and Jason have come up with is really is really involving and there's a lot of twists in there and um, I can't wait to see all the work that we've done, put it in the game and play it at the end of the game. It's just it's gonna be awesome. We really want it to feel like that there was history there. There was, uh, there's damage that existed from some battle that happened 900,000 years ago. The biggest challenge is packing in all the detail we want so that every time you look at the screen of your Xbox, you say, wow, that's beautiful. I guess we're sort of feeding off each other, so it's a, it's a really creative group of people that trust each other. We are the most cynical people. Like, we are the jaded crowd who, if a game doesn't entertain us in five minutes, we stop playing it. Take the player from the ruins of Halo to these ancient forerunner facilities in the atmospheres of gas giants. It's sort of a galactic romp from one place to the next, and I think that's in of itself is going to keep the player on the edge of his seat wondering, where am I going to be, and what do I get to do when, I'm, when I get there? Bet you can't stick it. You're on.